I'm back. I'm back. Hey, I'm back, y'all. I'm back. Hey, um, it's been a while. I'm back on YouTube. I have a new look for you guys. Um, I apologize. It's been a while. All my 21 subscribers, but hey, I love you nonetheless. Um, so I did this look. I got inspired by mm, the good old Lime Crines Red Velvet. I know it's old, but it's new to me. Um, so I wanted to do a classic red lip and then nice little wing liner with some lashes. Um, so if you want to see how I achieve this look, please sit and watch. And then also make sure to subscribe or follow on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. Um, and if you have any questions, just make sure to um, comment on the link below. So guys, I'm gonna hop right into it. As you can see, my eyebrows have already been done. The next thing I'm going to do is actually prime my eyelids with Max Paint Pot and Laying Low. So what I'm going to do next is take MAC Soft Brown Eyeshadow with a 217 brush. Sorry, it's kind of dirty. Um, but just simply pack that color into my lid. Next, I'm taking a dome shaped brush. This is a 224 from MAC. And I'm going to begin to blend out that lid color as well as create more definition within my crease. I'm using either Swiss or Blunt. I'm sorry, I can't remember. Um, but I'm using this also as a transition color into my next eyeshadow. Okay, so maybe that was saddle before, because now I'm holding up blunt. So we're just going to say the first eyeshadow was saddle, now I'm using blunt. And again, you're just putting that in your crease to create definition and transition for your uh, next color. So what I like to use for my wing liner is Inglot's Black Gel Liner in 71 or 77. It's the black color and it's the blackest black I've ever seen. I also use a Sephora angled brush. I'm probably going to go off camera to do this because it's just too hard to do it on camera. So I am taking a pair of lashes which are 203 along with Duo Glue. Um, and I'm going to stick these lashes on and kind of show you how I do that. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but what you really want to do is just get a thin layer on your lashes. And then once you do that, I like to let them sit. I sit, have them sit anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute because if you try to put them on directly, they won't stay on. Uh, and I think that's where people get frustrated with eyelashes. So again, just let them sit anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute. In the meantime, I like to apply my corrector. 
Um, I use Studio Finish Concealer in NW40 as well as a, another dome shaped brush. That one I believe is by Smashbox. And what I do is simply just correct all the dark spots on my face. So from underneath the eyes or any blemishes I might have, that warmth tone um, from that concealer will actually neutralize any dark spots out. So I, I like to do this before I put on my foundation. concealer process takes about um, a minute in the meantime the glue from the lashes is drying so that's when I typically apply my eyelashes um, it's really easy I like to use tweezers you kind of just stick it on um, and then take the tweezers to kind of pull them towards the center of your you know eye socket so once I actually put these on I realized I didn't like them so I'm resorting back to the classic number 43s where you can never go wrong and I'm gonna kind of show you the difference between two I like lashes with the space in between because that actually makes them look a little bit more real um, versus the ones that have like a long thick black strip and then once I apply those I put on a little bit of mascara just to help them blend a little better so my favorite foundation to use is Smashbox's Studio Skin Foundation in 4.1. I absolutely love this foundation. Uh, it keeps me matte and gives me full coverage. I also like it because um, I live in Atlanta and it's hot as hell here and it never seems to move off my face. So if you're looking for a foundation that is full coverage mattifying, I would highly recommend the Smashbox Studio Skin. I also like to use Clinique's Acne Solutions. It is mattifying foundation as well, but I like it because it's a little bit deeper in color. So I typically use this foundation around the perimeter of my face and use the Smashbox uh, foundation in the middle as of right now, because um, it helps me, those two colors help me to transition into my summer color. Um, and when I actually apply the foundation or blend it in, I use a Bare Essentials brush. I don't know what number it is, but I use that in Fix Plus and simply just begin to stipple it into my skin. So once I've applied my foundation, I like to go ahead and begin my highlighting process um, to create a little bit more definition in my face. So what I'm using to for my highlight is Pro Concealer, and this is in medium beige. I apply this on a couple areas, first underneath both my eyes to give a little bit more highlight. And then I also apply it down the strip of my nose and blend it up into my forehead. And y'all, I'm sorry for that water running. Oh, well, you may not hear it now since I'm recording over it, but I'm running water to uh, for my beauty blender. So I usually use that to blend out um, the concealer. And then you can kind of see that I started to use a little bit Kevin Aquan. It's a little bit more golden. Um, so I like to sometimes use that if the medium beige is looking a little bit too pale. After concealer is applied, I use my good old banana powder to set, and I use that using a squared sponge, which I bought from the dollar store. And then you can see I'm going back um, down the bridge of my nose to create um, a little bit of highlight, and then bringing that up into my forehead. Now the second to last step on my face is to apply um, a setting powder all over and I'm using Max Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark. Um, I really like it because it's light and it 
does the job. And I apologize, for some odd reason, my contouring uh, did not make it into this clip. So I apologize. I've contoured my face to the gods and then I applied my little fake mole and now I'm on to my lips. So for my lips, um, I'm using, I believe, NYX's lip liner in dark red. I really, really like this color. Um, and I like the pencil because it like goes on really smooth. Um, unlike sharpening pencils, they don't tug at your skin at all. Does it kind of look like my tooth is missing on the bottom? I swear to God, I have a tooth there, you guys. Um, <laughs> sorry, I got sidetracked. Um, but yeah, so this is NYX's lip liner pencil. I do like it a lot. Only downside with retractable pencils is that they tend to, I tend to go through them a lot faster. But nonetheless, I love it. So I'm using Lime Prime to fill in my lips. Beautiful, beautiful color and it's velvet. It has this velvety texture to it um, that I really, really like. So it doesn't feel like it's drying out my skin. And then it's a little bit too, too red. So I like to use Vino lip liner just to kind of seal the deal. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I have my full face, um, my neutral eye, and my red lips. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe and to follow on Instagram at Burton Beauty. Thanks, guys.